Hello my lovely Aquarius, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to find out what's coming for you this month, which is the last month of the year. Yes, it is December 2022. Where the year is gone, Aquarius. Oh, so quick, isn't it? I really hope you're doing great. Anyways, just keep in mind, this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Aquarius. What we have, generosity, six of pentacles. Life is generous to you. This is great. I really pay attention to the cards that do come out while we're shuffling. It's very important. Sometimes those are very important messages, kind of guidelines as well. Guidance coming your way. Now, there'll be some messages that do resonate. If they don't drop them, you know what to do. Anyways, don't be shy. Join in and, of course, subscribe and like and comment if you feel that way. There is no pressure. Anyways, Aquarius, what's coming? Let's go. Knight of Pentacles, loving it. Judgment, a lot of cards, a lot of signs. Got the major cards coming through. It is a month of major moves, major energies, shift happening it is suffering for you as well. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of it is a general reading for but collectively there's a lot about money manifestation. Now, I know it's a month of December, a lot of where you come from, maybe you don't, but a lot of countries in the world celebrate Christmas and there might be some pressure on certain things. Now we got the sun as well. Beautiful. The justice. Oh Libra and Four of Pentacles. Wow, wow, wow. Alrighty. Three of Wands and Seven of Wands. Oh, interesting. We have the groundedness here and we have the passion. And it kind of feels from a very good place it comes this. Now, it feels like you are planning some travel, some movement happening. And I like the way this card is completely looking away from where the Seven of Wands is looking. It feels like you are guarding. You may be keeping something quiet. And you're guarding your position. And maybe you are not telling everyone that you would like to travel, move place or move job. And you really, because you kind of feel that if you do, you would have to kind of um, not express what you're doing and why you're doing it. But it's kind of like you want to keep the quiet. So you are, look, this is the way I see it. If people don't know your personal life, if they don't know the details, they can't attack you. They can't attack you. They can't ruin it. And that is a good approach. Probably that's what you're doing here. Because otherwise it feels like you have to explain yourself and a competition or whatever it is you're really doing for yourself. For the very right reasons, I really support your energy here. I really, really, really do support here. I do want to clarify one thing here. Yes, you are. Ooh, and that's why you're keeping it quiet. Because you are doing... Hmm. You are not running away, but you are not sticking around either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And look, we have another wand. If you look at this person here, they are, what they're holding themselves is the, the it's their passion for what they want to do. They literally, the passion is guiding them. They don't know how they're going to get there. But this is one thing that I like about Dato Cups. The person not running away, they are prepared to leave stuff behind. They want to go and get that ninth cup. They have that, they have that guts. They have that courage to have more. You are not prepared. You know when you come from certain uh, culture or place, and some people sometimes say, "Know your place," or "Know what you can get." No, you want to get more. You want to get more in your life. Um, what you've been told to, you can have. And that is a very good attitude. I really applaud you for that. And it ain't easy. It doesn't. It might not come easy as such. It might take time as well because with the Knight of Pentacles, you're really planning step by step by step. There is no fast way through this. There is no fast way to the success. And it might not come easy, might not come fast, but it's coming. And that sometimes is more important. The speed is not as important because there's a lot of people going over fast. Now, with the judgment. Judgment is kind of saying, I'm not here to judge you, I'm setting you free. So there's definitely certain things you want to keep on in your past, okay? As well, there may be some um, um, contract or relationship that is need to solve, and this is wings of Archangel Raphael, so some healing might need to be happening, okay? And don't be judgmental of yourself as well. And critical point is that you leave the past behind 
and only go back to for the good emotions, for the good memories, okay? Because once you leave it, that's it. And it could be I mean, a little bit painful, especially if you are leaving physically, actually, friends or family for your pursuit for the better life. And it might resonate a lot of you, you know? We, we come... I'm going to say it as it is. Sometimes you have to move because that's the only maybe way how you can progress and then you can inspire others and and sometimes you might feel maybe in your country or your culture or in your village or your where you are that you feel that you have to move and you have to do everything even drop a good job maybe and go somewhere else start from the very bottom all right and work yourself up but don't you worry don't you worry because Universe got your back. You got the sun card. This is absolutely crucial. When you start a new journey like this, like like a rebellious, not just a rebellious, but kind of a revolutionary, kind of real um, journey, kind of new chapter in your life, you want the sun on your side. Mm -hmm. You want to shine sunshine in front of you so the shadows fall behind. Well, is going to be easy? No one sit down. But you got the blessings. You got the blessings. It's all going to work out for you indeed. Now, what is important that here the judgment is the nearly last major tarot card. So there's a certain chapter in your life ending. And the new beginning is starting with the sun. Okay. And you putting the work in. You're definitely going to be really... We have the Jupiter and Aries in, in December 20th. And this is talking about business, abundance, wealth and travel. And it feels that you are on the right track. You're really kind of thinking, what way I'm going to get faster up there? Which way is better? Maybe finding the right people, finding the right place. Which way is is going to be not just the fastest, but the best way for me to progress. OK, and your track is correct. You are on the right track. You are so full of courage. Right now, coming to the end, we are entering the Capricorn season as well. And interesting, the beginning month, no, 6th of the December, Mercury goes in Capricorn. And this is definitely a period for uh, thinking how we, how we, what is our image at work, the way we talk, the way we hold ourselves, right? And it's very important, right? So your communication, the way you communicate with, um, at workplace or possible new place where you're going will be very, very important. This is a time to really show your work ethic. This is a time for really stick to your word and get things done and be calm and collected. Okay. And not to stress out. Okay. Now we have a new moon in Capricorn 23rd and then Mercury goes in retrograde in a Capricorn until 18th of January. Now you might say, oh my God, Mercury in retrograde. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Hold the horses. Hold on what you got. It's a good time to reflect, okay, on where you're at. Reflection on the month of the year, on your whole life, okay. Hold on to your possessions. Hold on to your money. Don't splurge too much on at a Christmas presents or 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 money because money will become will, is going to come in. Justice, Libra's on your side. The justice, the fairness. What is coming your way is coming, okay. Have faith with that, okay. The you um. You're going to receive what you deserve. It's kind of like a karmic lesson. Okay. It's karmic lesson in a way that if you keep your intentions clean and clear, the universe can see that. Others can see that as well. And if you cheat life, life will cheat you. But you are not going to do that, are you? No, not at all. Because you are bigger fish to fry. You are really want to succeed in your life. And you're really giving it all. And I do applaud you for that. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of courage to um, do that. You know, like a lot of people have traveled miles and miles and miles so they can support their families. And they are very selfless in a way that they are not thinking about themselves, right? But they're thinking that their next generation, for example, uh, can progress and have a better life uh, than they did, okay? At least that intentions are it's important that your intentions are very clear. However, keep make sure that your documents are to the to the top. Okay, so your documents or anything terms and conditions you read. If you're going and um, finding a new place to live, please read or ask for advice from a professional so they can read through the 
contract so you're not hanging on after all okay um very interesting very 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 encouraging actually reading for your Aquarius let's have a look what ocean tarot would like to add for you luck oh I love that ten of pentacles fantastic this is the card of abundance so I said to you universe got your back and the money that is for you to come it's coming it might not come in one lump sum don't worry it's coming your way now manifestation it's going for better and better everything is in your look you have free will you can do whatever you want okay but the universe is saying look we have something special for you here it's up to you it's up to you put your work ethic in put work hard and have clean and clear intentions we got your back do it it's a good time however uh, magician is saying as well don't get tricks don't trick this in your life okay be mindful of that do your due diligence in certain things because magician can make things appear and disappear Alrighty. so keep close your positions um don't get tricked into certain things and you're in seven of wands it's interesting i love it's interesting how the cards do repeat themselves you know you do not have to come no you do not have to compete with others you can compete with yourself but there's something regarding um do not maybe let everyone know exactly what's going on in your life because that means that they can't attack you at that point okay and keep your things close to your chest literally your next move your money how much coming in your love life everything keep it close to your chest this time okay now you are oh, you are traveling or at least you're planning a travel and that is for sure and you are really re kind of shooting for your goals you're shooting for the star you do not you are not going to settle for second best because you are not the second best why would you do that why would you do that right oh Aquarius what well, it's time to release negativity emotions are running high oh leave the past behind I need a regret I need a revenge leave in the past as the eight of cups is moving ahead leave what you don't know what you do not that you don't know leave what you don't want to leave, take with you leave it behind okay yes indeed oh there we are there's a lot of moment there's a definitely moment you're planning or you really are really you're packing your bags something there's something happening here some sort of serious um individual revolution happening or <laughs> you know realizations it have been moved to new home or place of employment is in the works this movement will usher in a positive new energy. If does feel Aquarius that universe got your back here, say a prayer if needed, and that definitely helps. Have that faith and courage your way as well. But there's a lot of big big signs coming your way saying that you are moving the right. There's something better. That's why you are moving. Wait, and you are ready. Trust divine timing. Absolutely important. Okay, have that intuition guide you as well okay if you don't know the answer ask for guidance now go this is it there is no way back you are on the right path wowzers aquarius you've really surprised me this is kind of you kept it quiet <laughs> you kept it quiet really interesting revolutionary kind of move on the quiet and i applaud you for that a uh, happy new move to a home or employment the money is coming as well ten of pentacles maybe you're inheriting as well maybe there's some sort of money you're actually getting a chunk of money coming your way as well and the sun importantly as well you got the universe got your back the sun got your back the, all the positive guides and energies are on your side all right my lovely Aquarius thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here have a lovely December sending you love and light and thanks so much for sticking with me throughout this year I have to say massive thank you for that as well and I'll see you in the next reading. You take care, my lovelies.